the dimensionless variables are created in order to simplify the diffusivity equation and solutions. This is done by combining the reservoir parameters. Thus, they are able to reduce the total number of unknowns. Watch how the equation is rearranged to obtain dimensionless units. As you can see, pressure divided by pressure, you get dimensionless. Same thing goes when radius is divided by radius. Now, pressure can be obtained in dimensionless form through the rearranged equation. If we want time variable to be included in the equation, we have dimensionless time. Also, we have dimensionless time in terms of drainage area, where A is total drainage area, pi r square. Dimensionless pressure also varies with location, where dimensionless radius is equal to radius over wellbore radius, and also dimensionless external radius, where Drainage radius is divided by wellbore radius, both dimensionless. Remember, for the diffusivity equation, 0.006328 is measured for days, while 0.000264 is measured for hours. So here we have the diffusivity equation where the diffusivity constant is equals to 5 mu CT over 0.000264K. The terms of dimensionless pressure, dimensionless time, and dimensionless radius is then substituted into this diffusivity equation to produce dimensionless form of diversity equation. As a well began to produce at a constant rate after a shutting period, the pressure in the well ball starts to drop. The pressure disturbance in reservoir may exist during this pressure drop. Geologically, all reservoirs are finite, but reservoirs may act as infinite if the effect of pressure disturbance in the formation is not felt at the outer boundary. There is no effect of reservoir boundaries or the shape of drainage area on the rate at which the pressure disturbance spreads in the formation. For an infinite acting reservoir, the dimensionless pressure drop function PD is a function of the dimensionless time TD. However, the whole situation changes when the pressure disturbance is felt at the outer boundary of the reservoir. This is where a new region is formed, known as finite radial reservoir. The arrival of the pressure disturbance at the well drainage boundary marks the end of the transient flow period and the beginning of the pseudo steady state. There is a short period of time that separates the transient state from the semi-steady state that is called the late transient state. Due to its complexity and short duration, the late transient flow is not used in practical well test analysis. There are a few major differences between the infinite radial reservoir and finite radial reservoir. The PD function of an infinite radial system 
is a function of dimensionless time only, whereas the PD function for a finite radial system is a function of both dimensionless time and radius. The flow regime for infinite radial reservoir consists of an unsteady state. However, flow regime for a finite radial reservoir consists of steady state and pseudo steady state. Oh crap, why is it empty? Oh, so can